I think I did good uh, for my sisters out there. I'm definitely on the line. Have you gotten any uh, results back in terms of 40 times, stuff like that? I'm out here just in the weight room stuff. What, what? do you do in the weight room? We have a bench press, um, 35 vert, 9, 6, brush on. What's the feedback been like from the teams that you've talked to? I've been good feedback. I mean, I hear a lot about my film and uh, making plays on the field and uh, a high character guy, a great leader. So. Have you met, I mean, have any teams asked you to do individual workouts in the next month before? The I haven't heard anything yet. Uh, just more of staying in touch, phone calls, things like that. How many teams have you spoken with? Uh, I mean, at the NFL PA game, I was talking about 32 teams, so I got to talk to all the regional scouts. So. If you sell yourself, what, what do you kind of talk to teams about what you would bring to the table? I'm a student of the game. I'm always willing to learn. I know I'm entering the professional level. I know I have a lot of room for improvement. So I got it this spring. Uh, it's ready to get better every day. I know the kind of big question mark when it comes to you has been size. How do you try to over, or I guess, overcompensate that or sell yourself then? Oh man, I mean, like you say, like, like I said, I turned on the game film and I'm um, like, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna be the best. The guys that I held, that's gonna be in the NFL, came from college, so they'll be, be better players than I was. Are, are teams telling you they're liking what they see from watching you? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. What, did, what did you deal with last year, injury wise, and how are you doing now you know, in your recovery? Oh, so I had a, uh, in fall camp, I had a torn pick. And, um, I was scheduled to get surgery, and I ended up playing through it. I kind of healed on his own. And, how did you suffer that? Uh, as a, I played in fall camp, just competing. And, what did you? So you didn't get end up having to need uh, surgery. Did they talk to you about like sitting out some because of that? Did they talk to you about sitting out some during the sitting out. Yeah, oh, some no. of the season missing some games to rest up. I'll hear it. I will say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Like I said, the trainers, we kind of broke it down and went through our options. And, um, and I did what's best for the team and I ended up playing all the games. Uh, what was the pain tolerance? The yeah, pain tolerance? To go through it. Because I think Coach Campbell said after the Drake game, he said, eventually Brian will tell you guys what's going on. And he said, you know, he I mean, played through a lot more than people know. Uh, yeah, I mean, I had, I had my disadvantages. Uh, I mean, you can't really put pain tolerance on it. I've just been out there, been able to play. How did it show up? What, I mean, like you said, you kind of you played through it, you tried to power through it, but what did you feel like was, was limiting, obviously, the range of motion? Oh, uh, yeah, range of motion was different, but like I said, as the season went on, I kind of lost the brace and started playing without it. Uh, so, like I said, it kind of gives them some crazy, crazy. Well, what did you do? You said Paul can't be able to make a decision as a player. Now, what would you the decision to say? I'm going to, you could set out in your professional career, but you play through that season. Uh, man, I mean, I know I'm a tough guy, and, uh, and I have faith, and uh, he didn't bring me that far to lead me. So uh, it's kind of it's the decision I made, put the team before me, and uh, came over 30 years. What is kind of the, I guess, weighing thoughts you're kind of putting through on one hand, like, okay, you want to be healthy, but on the other hand, I want to get out there and play and show teams what I can do. Uh, I guess 